the extreme worst, we will swing by it and just come back. Um, but we got we got some Delta V to play with. We've got what's our Delta V here? We don't care too much about the orbital anymore. We have 400 Delta Vs. That's a, you can do a lot at Minmus with 400 Delta Vs. Let's actually uh, look and see what we got here. Looks like we're we're really far away from it. We could probably we could probably slow down a little. I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny bit of fuel here to fiddle with uh, our orbit. Because when you're really far away from your target, that's when you want to fiddle with your orbit. Because a tiny little change here makes a huge difference at Minmus. See, for example, there, <laughs> it screwed up our encounter completely. Uh, I also want to burn to the north a bit. This should get us a better encounter here. So you notice this little triangle here? showing that that's normal to my path. That's pretty weird. It brought my my orbit close. There we go. I'm going to click on this. No, I said I'm going to click on that to get it. It's actually making my periapsis worse. Uh, I don't know what to do about it. Let's do this with a maneuver node. <laughs> okay, we've got a nice re we've got a nice free return though, uh, sort of. Let's do this with a maneuver node. Let's see what what different things do. Okay, that. Oh wait, I I want my predicted periapsis, which I don't think I can get here. Uh, I need to click. Yeah, the only reason I'm still recording this is, is I'm, I'm thinking it's possible that, that people might want to see the, the thought processes involved in this. If uh, you think this is really super boring, uh, tell me in the show notes, and I will happily um, Okay, I just killed it. That's got to be closer. Nope, it's farther. That's actually worse. So nothing I do forward and backward is going to help. So let's kill this maneuver node and make a new one. What about up and down? That's slightly better. 486 going up. 461, 460. And then it goes back up. So right around here is the sweet spot for that. What this does, that makes it worse. That means this should make it better, but only slightly. I don't think it's worth it. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna cruise out there. Um, yeah, I I, I figured I, I liked when I was learning. I liked watching and seeing how people fiddled with maneuver nodes and stuff. I'm not gonna do that for every flight. I'm not gonna do it for every maneuver node. I just figured you might want to see that. And I'm definitely not gonna do it for the maneuver nodes like the one where I was trying to plan the moon thing because because I'm learning and I don't want you guys to. I don't want people to watch me learn how to make maneuver nodes. Um, watching me crash into the to the moon because I screwed up a, a burn, that's fine. <laughs> I just don't want you to, to sit there for 10 minutes while I while I fiddle with maneuver nodes because that's not what this game's about. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that. Screenshot time. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go to Minmus. Um, let's go ahead and add an alarm. I said add an alarm. This is this is a this is one thing I really like. You can add a sphere of influence alarm, and I can add this thing. And in two days and six hours, we're going to go into Minmus's sphere of influence. Now, the cool thing about that is now I don't have to worry about anything. I can just enjoy the show. Getting my cursor out of the way. Bye bye, Kerbin. There we go. Get our. Oh, wait, I need. That's right. I need my. Uh... Tell you what, let's do. Let's uh, change our camera to free. Get Kerbin back in the center of the screen here. And now let's crank it up. 
we're gonna get a we're gonna get a Kerbal rise in a second here. Look at the Terminators getting bright. Sunrise is coming. Oh, look at that. You can't get better than that. Bye-bye, Kerbin. We'll be back in a little bit. Jeb and I got to go to Minmus. Speed it up. We'll see Moon. There's Moon cruising along there. Bye-bye, Moon. That means probably Minmus we could see. There. No, that's Moon still. Minmus is around here somewhere. the ship back in the center here oh we're slowing down the game is slowing us down that means we are nearing minmus nearing our sphere of influence of minmus yeah, it's kind of hard to see with all the the extra stuff <laughs> here but let's go ahead and uh set minmus as our target that'll give us a that'll give us a target on our nav ball uh i think I thought it would, but it apparently is not. Let's change our camera mode, because that free camera mode isn't really doing it for me. Okay, Kerbin is Kerbin is actually that way somewhere. Because yeah, there's Kerbin. There's Minmus. There she is. And are we in her sphere of influence yet? No, we are not. And apparently, we're not going to be. What, what, what the H. Okay, so we need... Oh, there we go. That works for me. Okay, how much delta V do we need to get into an orbit? Around Minmus. We need... 190... Oh, yeah, we can do this. We won't get into a super tight orbit, because we need to be able to break orbit. <laughs> uh, we have 412 delta Vs left. I think we can use half of them to get into a, an elliptical orbit here. And let's try to bring our periapsis down to about, let's see what 20 does for us. 210, that's close enough. I think I think Jeb, Jeb is gonna be happy assuming that is half. <laughs> it's a six second burn. So let's go ahead and add a maneuver node for that for our thing there. Let's go ahead and set it for 30 seconds. Add that alarm. Let's go back into free mode. Uh, which, there we go. And clear all those and let's watch Minmus come up at us here. Oh, here she comes. We'll be landed on her eventually. Oh, and look, there's Kerbin right behind it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Another screenshot. <laughs> okay, uh, we are two minutes from our maneuver node, so let's go ahead and just crank up the time. And delete this on close. We've got we're somewhere around three seconds. It really doesn't matter that much, but... Good. There we go. Five, four, three. Just keeping that blue maneuver marker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I hit the wrong key. How are we doing? Uh, we are on a death trajectory here. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, fix that here. This is why we have Delta V safeguards in place. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna get our periapsis right above it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill this maneuver node. I don't know what the safest level over Minmus is, but I'm gonna guess ten is probably. Oh, I hit the freaking wrong key again. Okay, 20. Fine. We'll do 20. We have 147 meters per second. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a swing around Minmus. Um, and then we're going to do another swing around Minmus and do our return burn. We're going to use the old earth effect to give us a uh, burn this way. Let's see what the let's see what the return back to... Oh, we're going the wrong way. So we actually have to do our burn up here. That's hilarious. If I had known that, I would have I would have actually just used the fact that I screwed up. 
Yeah, because we're 24 minutes from this maneuver, but we are six hours from this maneuver, so we're actually going the wrong way. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to anti Olberth effect. And tell you what, I gotta I gotta let him go a little bit farther before I. Oh, damn it! <laughs> okay, well we're in our encounter. <laughs> <laughs> I get too crazy with the with the thing sometimes. But here we are around Minmus, exactly as planned. Right, Jeb? Oh, see, look, Jeb has actually changed uh, just in the time <laughs> that we've been doing this. I didn't even, I didn't even, oh, I did reload. I saved and reloaded uh, because I screwed up the staging off camera. Um, so let's observe some goo. We're going to observe a lot of these here. 40, that's a good amount. So this is going to be worth 20. It says 40, but it's actually going to be worth 20. This is going to be worth 10. That's good right there. And then this last one here is going to be worth 5. Uh, and I think I think we're going to... We'll, we'll get down to, to periapsis here. We're basically at it, but we'll get to periapsis here in 2 minutes. We'll take a couple more readings. Uh, let's go ahead and set a maneuver node. Uh, and then add, we'll just put it at right at zero. We'll watch Minmus go by a little bit. Enjoy the view here. There's the icy lakes. That'll be a target to land on our first landing because it's nice and flat. Uh, the hilly mountains near those lakes are can be a little bit hard to land on. Okay, let's go and close this alarm. Let's take a couple more readings. They're probably the same readings as before. I think I'll just take two. Uh, the goo feels right at home here. Observe mystery goo while in space near Minmus. So the goo might be from Minmus. Who knows? Okay, we've used up half of those. I'm going to save these until we land on Kerbin. Um, let's go ahead and set another maneuver node around here somewhere. We'll take a reading here just for funs. <laughs> I, I I don't I'm not doing any real super planning for this. I'm just I'm winging it. What do you want to do? Uh okay, we've got 11 minutes. Let's go ahead and crank up time here. Yeah, this could be a good landing spot right here. Definitely don't want to try to land here. At least not on my first try. <laughs> but yeah, this is Minmus. The uh, Kerbals believe that Minmus is uh, some sort of edible substance. They uh, they want to be able to, to, to taste it. And Jeb's like, I can taste the Minmus. And he is extremely happy about this. I'm glad, I'm glad he's back. We needed him back. Okay, let's go and close this alarm. Oh, I forgot to delete it. Okay, let's take some more readings. We're just going to take the rest of these. Uh, maybe we'll take a couple on the way back. Um, observe the mystery goo. If it's exactly the same over Minmus, yes. Yeah. So let's go ahead and just take this one and this one. We'll take a couple more way out in space. Uh, actually, we'll take the last two as we, uh, as we return to Kerbin. Okay, so now it's time for some maneuver nodes. Let's go ahead and delete this, and let's go back to this maneuver node. Because what I want to do here is plan this thing around the shortest possible burn I can do to return to Kerbin. Uh, and that's more Delta V than I have. <laughs> I have 147 Delta V. So this will not ever get me back to Kerbin. So, I guess I am going to have to try a moon encounter. And this could be interesting. Where there might be a there might be a rescue mission in our future. Uh, how much delta V do I need to actually get completely back to Kerwin and enter the atmosphere? Something along those lines. I need 220. <laughs> Which really isn't a lot, but it's more than 147. So Jeb, we, I, I have a, I have some bad news for you here. Um, okay, well, not sure what to do about this. 
Uh, I need 50 Delta V. I'm wondering if I can do some trick. I w see if my... If, tell you what, let's try this. How much Delta V will it cost to, to flip my orbit around? It'll cost 60 to flip my orbit around. But what I don't know is... See, I'm trying to use the Olberth effect here. I mean, that will send me out... You know what? Let's try it. Jeb is a professional. He knows what he got into when he started this thing. The, I mean, we're not, we're not leaving... Okay, so we're gonna... We're going to... Burn that way. <laughs> At periapsis, I'm also going to make a save. What I'm what I'm doing here is I'm going to I'm 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 experimenting from out here. I can't get back home. So what I'm trying to do is turn my uh, orbit around so that I'm coming around the, the the side here, and then I'm going to burn right here and see if we can use the Olberth effect to get home. This is my experiment. So let's go ahead and add a maneuver node, and yeah, one minute is fine. Let's go ahead and crank time up. And we are there. Let's go ahead and close that alarm. And now I don't need the maneuver node anymore. It will actually get in the way. I need to watch and make sure my periapsis goes down or actually vanishes. Yes, it's going down. So I'm going to burn until I have a periapsis. Using up precious delta V. Okay. We have a three kilometer periapsis. Let's make it Eight. Okay. Eight should be enough to not hit anything <laughs> on the surface. Uh, yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, now, at this periapsis, when we have all this extra velocity, we're going to do a burn here to get this periapsis down to 70 kilometers at least. Oops. And that's going to take 115 Delta V, and we have 92. Ah, we're so close. Yeah. It's so close, but we're not going to make it. Oh, well. That's just what you have. Uh, we'll, we'll do a rescue mission. It won't be too hard to rescue him. We'll, we can bring up a very small craft with a, with a decent amount of, of Delta V and, and grab him when he gets close. I think <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> um, so, well, let's go ahead and add a maneuver node here. And yeah, one minute before is fine. It's a three second burn. Let's go ahead and actually we should be watching this from here is what we should be doing. Cause we're just going to be aiming this thing at the maneuver node. And when the time comes, we're going to burn, right? Here's a trick I learned. Actually, I don't need it. Never mind. Okay. So let's crank up time. We're coming We're coming really close. I never uh, saved the game. So if he hits a mountain... <laughs> if he hits a mountain, I say... This uh, could be bad for Jeb, but it looks like we're going to be fine. Uh, we should definitely take a reading here. I think we should use our last two can can canisters here. Ah, same data. Oh well. Okay, we're a uh, we're a minute from the maneuver node, which means we're gonna get our alarm here. Oh, look at that! We're mere kilometers off the surface, and Jeb is super excited. I don't think he's realized that he's not actually going home yet. We'll wait till we're at about five seconds, crank time down, and we're just going to burn now. Until we're out of fuel. There we go! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> so, Jeb...
Your periapsis is 1.2 thousand kilometers away from where it should be. And there's no chance of a of a moon encounter at any point. So we're going to leave it here. Um, the boys back home are going to do a bunch of research to figure out a way to get Jeb home. And that'll be the topic of our next uh, episode. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching. I hope, oops, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing Jeb with a with a stash. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed seeing Minmus. I'm Fifth Horseman, and I will, as always, talk at you later. I just love that. Look at their look at their mustaches and their beards. That's freaking awesome. <laughs>